How's it going today, guys? This is Ryan here from the Investing Simple YouTube channel. And in this video today, we're gonna go through a step-by-step -step process of how M1 Finance works for a complete beginner. I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to get up and running as a completely brand new M1 Finance user. And not only that, I'm also going to open up my M1 Finance portfolio and give you guys a tour of the app. So pretty much if you're new to M1 Finance and you wanna basically understand how this app works, we're gonna cover everything right here in this video. And if you haven't yet opened an M1 Finance account, we would greatly appreciate it if you used our affiliate link down below if you would like to support the channel. So that being said, guys, I wanna go ahead and cover a couple of things about M1 Finance that you may want to know about as a complete beginner getting started with this app. So first of all, with M1 Finance, there are no trading commissions, which means you can trade stocks and ETFs 100% commission free, allowing you to keep more of your hard earned money in your pocket rather than paying those pesky commissions. Second of all, M1 Finance is really designed for more long-term portfolio-based investing because at the end of the day, everything is going to come back to your pie or your portfolio and every individual investment is going to make up one slice of that pie, ultimately leading up to 100%. If that sounds confusing, don't worry. When we open up my portfolio, it's all going to make sense. As far as the minimums go for this account, despite the fact that it is completely free, there is a $100 minimum to open up a taxable brokerage account. Or if you wanna open a retirement account, which is also completely free, the minimum is 500 bucks. There's also a very useful feature called Auto Invest, which you can turn on or off. I leave it on at all times. And essentially what this means is that anytime my cash balance in my portfolio hits $25 or more, it's going to reinvest that money across my portfolio, which allows me to reinvest my dividends. Another important thing to know is that with M1 Finance, there are just one or two trading windows per day. If you're an M1 Plus user, you get the morning and afternoon trading window. But for most users using just the free plan, there's only one trading window per day, which happens in the morning. And finally, with M1 Finance, you can follow either an active or passive approach with your investments, depending on your style of investing. If you wanna be active, you can build a portfolio from scratch holding stocks and ETFs of your choice. Or if you want to be more passive, you can pick one of the 30 plus pre-built expert portfolios that are completely free to invest in. And I'll show you guys what those look like inside of the app. So in order to get up and running with M1 Finance, there's just three steps that you have to follow beyond opening up your account. I'm going to assume you've already done that. If you haven't, Check out our link below to get started and download the app from the App Store if you would like to use our affiliate link. So assuming you've already done that, your very first step with M1 Finance is to choose one of the expert pies or build your own pie from scratch. Now each M1 Finance pie can hold up to 100 stocks or ETFs total and in order to do that each one would make up just 1% of your portfolio. But essentially what you're gonna do is pick the stocks and ETFs you wanna have in your portfolio and then you set the percentages accordingly. So let's say you wanted to do a tech portfolio, you could do like 50% Tesla, 50% Google, or you could do a lot more stocks, you could do just one, you could do up to 100. There's a lot of flexibility there when building that portfolio. And then since you automatically are purchasing fractional shares, you really don't have to worry about the underlying share price because they're able to split your money up into fractional shares of these large and small companies. So in a nutshell, your first step here is to pick a portfolio that's already built or make your own from scratch and set your percentages accordingly and make sure it adds up to 100% before saving it. After you've done this, your second step with M1 Finance is to add funds from your bank account, or maybe you're doing a rollover, in which case you would just start the rollover process. Uh, that's pretty simple. You link your bank account and you can either set up a one-time transfer or a recurring transfer if you wanna do a set amount every single week. And the advantage to that 
is you're taking advantage of a powerful strategy known as dollar cost averaging, where you're putting a little bit of money into the market on a weekly or monthly basis. And over time, you're paying the market average price per share. Then after that, you pretty much are done. If you're setting up an automated portfolio and you have auto contributions, your money's going to flow into that portfolio and automatically be reinvested. Or even if you just made a one-time deposit, as you earn dividends, it's gonna to go towards your cash balance. And once that exceeds $25, that money is deployed across your entire portfolio. But there's an important third step here that you may be unaware of, and that is the automated rebalancing feature of M1 Finance. So once you build your portfolio and set your target allocations, they're gonna start changing, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like in my app. So maybe you wanted to have 10% of your money across 10 stocks, even if it started at 10% in each one, if you look back in a couple weeks, it's gonna to be totally different based on the performance of these individual investments. But the good news is M1 Finance has automated rebalancing built right in. So as more money goes into your portfolio from dividends or contributions, it's going to buy whatever you're low in. That way it brings you back to those target allocations. The same thing happens if you pull money out of your account, they're gonna sell whatever you have too much of to try to bring you back to those target percentages. That being said, M1 Finance is truly best for long-term investors. It works great for passive index fund investors, and it's great for dividend investing. That's what I use it for, is my dividend investment portfolio. On the other hand, it's really not a good pick for active traders because you just get one or two trading windows per day, and that whole portfolio percentage model doesn't really make sense if you're just a short-term trader looking to capitalize on shorter-term price moves. But that being said, now we're gonna jump into my M1 Finance app. I'll show you guys what it looks like. We'll go over a couple of more features. All right, guys, so here we are inside of my M1 Finance portfolio. Uh, this right here is the different stocks that I have. And what you'll notice is there's a percentage next to each one. So right now, for example, Bank of America stock is the largest position in my portfolio. And my target allocation is set at just 6% but I actually have 7.7% .7 of all of my money in Bank of America. That's because this stock went up quite a bit from where I purchased it, so I'm now overweight in Bank of America. On the other hand, if we scroll to the bottom, one of my recent purchases here, we have Procter & Gamble. My target allocation is actually 5%, but I only have 3.3 in there. So as more money is added to this portfolio, you're gonna see more money going into Procter & Gamble and some of these stocks that I'm underweight in. Uh, but this is basically what it looks like. Each of these stocks makes up one piece of this pie, or they call them slices, and I'm invested across all of these different dividend payers. So if we jump over here to the holdings tab, you can see my performance with this portfolio. I did a lot of buying earlier this year, so I took advantage of some good prices. So I am up about 13.5% across this entire portfolio. And uh, some of my big winners in here, I did well with Lowe's stock. Um, I've also done well with some Apple. And also Emerson Electric was a good stock as well. The only one that I'm down on right now is Intel where I'm down about 7%. Like I said earlier, you can either follow an active approach where you build your own portfolio or you can invest in one of the expert pies for free. And if you wanna check those out, you just go over to the research tab, click on the top left corner and go to expert pies. And all of these are portfolios that are pre-built that are completely free to invest in. So for example, if we open up um, just stocks and bonds. These are just simple stock and bond allocations using mostly Vanguard index funds. They also have retirement plans where you simply put in the year that you're going to retire and then you can pick and choose a moderate, conservative, or aggressive portfolio. And then of course, if you want to, they have M1 Spend and M1 Borrow, which is an M1 Finance debit card that offers cash back or you can borrow against your portfolio for a low interest loan if these things interest you as well. As you can see here, I am an M1 Plus user, so I have a morning and afternoon trading window, and I also have auto invest turned on, so anytime I'm earning dividends, it's reinvested into this portfolio. I'll open up my activity tab and I'll show you guys a recent dividend here. I earned $68.19 from Intel, 
and that resulted in a purchase here where that money went into Lowe's stock. So I must have been low on that stock. That's kind of a funny pun there. Um, not intended, but anyway, since my allocation was low, that money went into Lowe's stock since it was over $25. So anyways, guys, there you have it. If you're looking for more information on how M1 Finance works, your best bet is to jump over to Google, type in, how does M1 Finance work? Click on Investing Simple and read our entire step-by-step -step guide, which goes into more detail than this video. If you would like to sign up for M1, we have a link down below. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and we hope to see you in the next one.